Coach, what did you think of the quality of this win? You know, it's a, it was a hard-fought game. I thought uh, we knew when they were, with the way the game unfolded at the beginning, we'd see a lot of zone, a lot of threes. And then I thought in the second half, uh, we competed really well. And so we had a lot of hustle plays. I thought uh, Julius uh, gutted it out, played tough. I thought Jalen was fantastic. RJ, a big, big start to the game for us. Um, so we had a number of guys step up and, and get it done. The uh, Hartenstein and Hart seemed to get key offensive rebounds in that fourth quarter. What did you see from those yeah, two Yeah, and I think, like, uh, in Josh's case, he, he did everything. And that's who he is. So we talk about playmaking ability, the assists, the, the big threes, the rebounds, the defense. And then uh, I thought uh, Isaiah, those, those were huge hustle plays he made. Yeah, we needed them. Uh, great screen to free up Jalen in the corner, right? So and those things are unselfish and they're winning plays. And it, this is going to be this is this is the type of series that it is. It's hard fought on every play. Coach, you you mentioned RJ's hot start. Just how difficult is it to pull a guy for defensive purposes when he's shooting the way he was shooting today? Yeah, just you know you, you you're doing the things that you think are going to help you win the game at the end and they're tough decisions and so you have to everyone we're asking everyone to sacrifice and put the team first so sometimes it's just the way the defense is unfolding the way they were shooting the threes i thought we you know we had to contain the ball and get back to people uh so the the group that was in there i thought gave us the best chance of doing it uh, with Jalen, he was battling something with his ankle, and he was pretty hard on himself after game one. You know, f to come through at the end, we had the fourth quarter. What does that kind of say about what he does yeah, for you? It's who he is. You know, great leader, great toughness. Uh, he never disappoints you. You know, sometimes we can fall short, but there's no quitting him. Never quits on a play, you know. So can't say enough about that. Keeps everyone connected. Uh, Tom, with with Josh, how he's he took three quarter threes in in that fourth quarter. How important is it for him with the way Miami's guarding him that that he puts up those shots? I also want to ask you, um, just if if RJ is is fully healthy and all that. Those yeah, basketballs. no, it, it's just you know it was the way the game unfolded. That that's all. And I, hey, look, RJ's playing terrific for us. So you know, and sometimes you need you know a, a different matchup and. So when we got the matchup and then we got going, we got into a little bit of a rhythm. So we wanted to ride it out. That, that's all it is, you know. But RJ, he's key to the team. I, you know, I've, I've asked the same thing of Jalen, Julius. So all, all those guys, just everyone sacrificed, put the team first. You, you can't worry about anything but winning right now. Coach, what did you see with uh, Quentin coming back and you went with him to close the game? And are you seeing his legs coming back after that? Yeah, just, you know, off? like defensively, I thought very good, you know. And so I think the more he plays, the more his rhythm will come. I like the way we, I thought we created good shots and we created good rhythm. And so we, I think we made 16 threes tonight, you know, but it was a byproduct of people working together to create those shots. Coach, what did you think of uh, Randall's playmaking? They were yeah. doubling and, and showing him a crowd quite yeah. a bit. What did you think of his mentality yeah, in that regard? Great. And, and I, I really, like, I thought his pace early on helped set the tone. And then I thought he read the game well. You know, so the, the, the game will tell you what to do when he's, and I love the way he's attacking the rim. So we want him to attack the rim, but when there's traffic spread, and then when you get doubled and he knows, uh, you know, they're, they're sending the second guy. Trust the pass. Trust the pass, right? If there's two on you, that means someone's open. Find the open man, right? Don't hesitate. And I, th I love the way he, he was attacking and then reading the game. Tom, you obviously don't know exactly what's happening day to day with Miami, but with three days off in between, do you prepare as if Jimmy's going to play Saturday? You already know the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we will. I mean, I think that's sort of the nature of the beast right now for everyone. You know, like you go in, you know, 
guys are nicked up this time of the year. And so then there's possibilities that guys could be in or out. So you always have, okay, if there's a possibility that he could be out, who will be in? All right, what will the plan be with, with if those guys are available? And then if, the, if, if Jimmy's available, then we'll have a plan for him. So you know, it's you, you also know, like, it's like in tonight's case, when he was out, it would be a different type of game, and it was. Coach over here. Um, what do you think about how Josh did against their zone with their, you know, in the corner? And obviously, a big part of that is kind of leaving him open, letting him, daring him to shoot. Yeah, you know, and it wasn't just that. I thought, you know, he, he's very confident at reading gaps. So I thought he did a good job of engaging people, getting into gaps, and playmaking off of that. Then he, I thought he also did a good job of spacing to the corner, right? And then we got good screening action also. And so I think it was it was a combination of all those things, but he's just a basketball player. That's you know, and that's that's probably the best thing you can say about anyone. He does everything. He shoots it a little bit. He puts it on the floor. He passes. Plays great defense. He rebounds the ball. You know, he he does everything. Uh Tom, how, how do you feel like you guys have done with trying to get quickly going? How much of it is on him? Like, what, what can you guys do to help get him yeah, a little we, more no, we need him. offense? Yeah, you know, and look, I, I got a ton of confidence in him. You know, like, just get, get out there. He got, he got going a little bit, you know, so, you know, he's, he's got a knack of putting the ball in the basket. So I don't want him overthinking it. Shoot your shots, you know, so. He's, when he's aggressive and attacking, he'll be fine. Yeah, like we've seen him now. Yeah, I think everyone knows he, he's a scorer. Jalen uh, starts off, I think, one for six in the first half and really gets going in the second half. What did you see? Like, what was the difference there? Do you think his yeah, no, injury yeah, and, was... and again, the same thing. We, we, we said it to all the guys. It's like, if you're open, shoot. Shoot. You guys, we're, you know, when we went through an entire regular season. You are, We know you can shoot. Don't question yourself. Shoot the ball. You're not going to make everyone, right? So as long as you shoot it well and you're open, there's not going to be a problem. Hey, Tom, when you said earlier you knew that it would be a different kind of game without Jimmy, um, what, what did you mean by that? Like, how? Well, I think volume threes, mm -hmm. you know, and then we'd see more zone, right? And we saw a lot of zone in, in the game. So, uh, and it, it, it's, it's smart. They, you know, they, the, when you have guys go out, okay, everyone does something well. So then, you know, and I give them a lot of credit. They thought that was the best chance to win the game, and they played a smart game. Uh, and that's what volume three-point shooting does, you know, and they, they took 53s, right? So, and what, that also leads to other things. Yep. 